Hey friends, we're going to talk about the biggest issue in immigration this week, and it is Texas, guys. There is a showdown at our border between Texas and the federal government, and we've got to talk realistically about what in the world is the strategy under President Joe Biden with immigration and the border. I'm Latoya McBean, Pompey, an immigration lawyer, working with clients nationwide at McBean Law. Reach out to us at 888-462-4006 or at mcbeanlaw.com to request an appointment with us. Subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, and then also subscribe to the number one immigration newsletter at mcbeanlaw.com forward slash subscribe, where you'll get more free immigration tips, news, and inspiring stories to keep you going. Now let's get into this big issue, guys. Everyone's talking about it because it, it apparently it's going to be a showdown at the border. What is going on with the Biden administration? What in the world are they thinking with immigration? They continue to say things like, well, it's Congress's fault. Congress should have acted. We at, tried to act on day one. We made immigration a priority, yet our proposal was rejected. And then, oh, by the way, we don't have enough resources at the border. So we're asking House Republicans to agree to give us more resources so that we could manage the flow of migrants um, into our country. Our cities cannot manage it anymore. It's a huge, 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 huge problem here in the United States. They're saying that, but then on the other hand, they're doing something else. For instance, what happened this week, razor wire, okay, was set up in Texas along the border. The federal government is fighting Texas on this issue. They want to be able to clip those wires and remove them. I don't know why, but they want to do that. And Texas says, no, we're not going to, we're not going to allow you to do that. So the case went all the way up to the U S Supreme court and the Supreme court sided with the federal government, a divided Supreme court on Monday allowed border patrol agents to resume cut in for cut in for now razor wire that Texas installed along a stretch of the U S Mexico border that is at the center of an ex escalating standoff between the Biden administration and the state over immigration enforcement. And this was a vote of five to four. Okay. Five to four on the Supreme court. After that happened, governor Abbott issued a um, statement saying that Texas has a constitutional right to defend itself. It was issued on January 24th and it says the federal government has broken the compact between the United States and the states. The executive branch of the United States has a constitutional duty to enforce federal laws protecting state, including immigration laws on the books right now. President Biden has refused to enforce those laws and has even violated them. He has smashed records for illegal immigration. And then he goes on to say in the statement, 6 million folks were able to come into the country illegally under the Biden administration over the past three years. And that is more than the population of 33 different states in this country. James Madison, Alexander, Alexander Hamilton, and other visionaries who wrote the U.S. Constitution foresaw that states should not be left to the mercy of a lawless, a lawless president who does nothing to stop external threats like cartels smuggling millions of illegal immigrants across the border. The failure of the Biden administration to fu fulfill the duties imposed by Article 4 has triggered Article 1, which reserves to this state the right to self, the right of self-defense. And he's basically saying, I have already declared an invasion under Article 1 of our Constitution to invoke Texas's constitutional authority to defend and protect itself. The authority is the supreme law of the land and supersedes any federal statutes. To the contrary, the, nation, the Texas National Guard, the Texas Department of public safety and other Texas personnel are acting on that authority as well as state law to secure the Texas border. Other governors in other states, they banded together under, you know, they, the, they're part of the Republican Governors Association, RGA. They banded together, guys, 25 Republican governors 
released a statement, a joint statement supporting Texas, supporting Governor Abbott, and they're standing with him with resources. They're backing him up. We stand in solidarity with our fellow Governor Greg Abbott and the state of Texas in utilizing every tool and strategy, including razor wire fences to secure the border. We do it in part because the Biden administration is refusing to enforce Im immigration laws already on the books and is illegally allowing mass parole across America of migrants who entered our country illegally. This includes Alabama, Arkansas, Alaska is there, Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Iowa, Louisiana, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, North Dakota, um, Ohio, Oklahoma, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Utah, West Virginia, Virginia. Guys, what's happening right now at the border is wrong. The Biden administration needs to grab a hold of this crisis and do it right away because this is not only threatening, obviously, our public safety and national security, but also it is it is crashing our immigration system. And I know it sounds dramatic, but when you think about the flow of uh, six million people over the last three years and what our system can handle and the fact that, I, as I've always been saying, 99.9% .9 of these people do not have a legal pathway through asylum. So what that's going to do to the country and our, and our immigration system is it's going to put more pressure in the system to not only try to process people who aren't even eligible for these ben for the benefit of a green card, but it, it's going to impact those who have been in line waiting. Things, I think, will be slower at some point with our system. You tell me below in the comments. Keep it respectful, of course, as usual. And tell me, what do you think? Why is the federal government doing this? Why is the federal government fighting against what seems to be common sense uh, solutions to managing the flow of people illegally crossing the border. It doesn't benefit me as an immigration lawyer and other immigration lawyers across the country, by the way, because as I've said, the folks who are coming in this way do not have a lawful pathway to a green card. Our firm, we analyze asylum cases very carefully. Before we take them, we have to make sure there is merit under the law. Tell me your thoughts below, um, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.